Hello everybody, this is Rick Gamers 5 Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft MC Nostalgia. It's been a while since I recorded the last episode. Well, for me actually, but not for you because the episode's already out there by the time you're watching it. And we are now in the second release candidate for 1.0.0. .0. So, you might be thinking the series is going to be coming to an end now, because I plan to stop at 1.0.0. Well, I've got something to tell you. I've changed my mind. We're going to keep going as long as they're going to be keep making more updates. We're eventually going to get to, as the time recording it, um, 1.12, I believe. <laughs> We can open these chests now. Awesome. Sorry about that. I ran out of memory. No. My tool should be somewhere. But where? Let me check my other storage room. Mob traps still working fine, I believe. So glad I'm back to this good body again. You're no longer a blue hedgehog, but I'm a human again. But I'm still missing something. Wasn't I a red plumber before I became this guy? Reckon I was. Hmm, got no bow and arrow. You don't need these torches anymore because the doors have been unlocked again. Time and armor. Iron armor. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. For some reason, my computer keeps giving me these messages asking me to close the program even though I'm not going to. To save up memory. Sorry if this annoys you. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Oh no. My diamond sword's gone. Now I have to use these stinking stone tools. And these doors are weird. So glad to be back here. How's the animal pen going? Never wreck? Maybe I can burn all these trees down, I guess. Hmm. Animals? Sound pretty good actually. Let's head over to my previous world. Remove all the redstone torches from there. I need those redstone torches in 1.9 pre release 6 because due to a error in the game. All the wooden tools locked itself. Trisha, could you please stop trampling these crops, please? Okay, let's go all the way over to here. We are back in this world. Nothing should go wrong, I don't believe. Ok, 
Okay, let's go. Besides, all three worlds I had in MC Nostalgia, I love them all. So, for all you viewers who are new, this is my second world I had in my um, series. And over there, Far away, Greenland is my first one. We'll get to that soon. I want to explore this one for a moment. So. Oh, there's Skyblock. It's still here. So, what happened was my first world I created was known as Greenland. All the episodes in that world take up the first season. And what happened was I had that world for the first 27 episodes and then in episode 28 we applied to the first beta patch. And that kind of corrupted that world so we started a new one. And that only lasted like two episodes. Because I got killed by zombies and I could not find where my house was. So we created another new world, which is this world. So I was in this world from episode 30 to 74. Where I decided to do a montage episode and then... I fell for a TNT trap and accidentally blew this world up. And then what happened was, I was sent into exile, into another new world, which is the one we'll just in down there. So what happened was, after season 5, I copied my first two worlds, and I put them into here. This is my wooden hut. This is, this is more of a world tour episode. This is my wooden hut. I built this in episode 47, when beds were introduced. And I may put this bed here. Originally this was a dirt floor, but then I decided to put carpet in in about episode 59. Tall grass was originally not here, I planted these here. Episode um, 63, I believe. I made this thing here, which is, um, you know, passive mob spawning. I built this here in about between episode 63 and 64. Didn't work that much. Over here is my farm. I originally made, this was one of the first things I made in this world. But I put fences around them because I was trying to stop passive mobs from getting, but that didn't work, so I had to build this fin around it. Originally, I built it in episode um, 75, but it did not save and it reverted back to the fences, so in episode 49, we built it again. Over here, you might be wondering why there's so much torches because. As soon as I updated to Bay 1.5, this was converted into a snow biome. So I planned all the torches to get rid of all the um, snow, but we probably don't need all the torches here anymore. Probably after I finish recording this episode, I'm going to run around removing all these torches. This here is a mob grinder. I built this in episode 41 to spawn mobs. They all fall down there, and I can, then I can go down, get the lo mob loot in that. 
I put glass around there because, you know, they kept landing all over here. So, I put glass down so they can fall down there 100%. I believe I put the glass around it. I believe, um, episode... After episode 65, but before episode 67. Probably in between those episodes. This was the very first thing I built in this world. My mining shelter. And this is the interior. This was supposed to be another passive mob spawning thing, but that didn't work either. So we play bunch of junk. Originally, when I first built this, this was dirt. But in, in episode 50 we changed it to sandstone because when you're on the beach you wouldn't think of dirt, you would think of sand. And when we first made this, this was just a cave. But then I made a big room around it. Originally it was cobblestone. After episode 36 I made a cobblestone room. It was cobblestone for a while until like after episode 62 I changed it to wooden planks. Originally the walls were stone but I made the dirt as well after episode 63. Just cave. Down there's my mine, which used to go down nearly all the time. So yeah. Season 2, 3 and 4 was when we were in this world. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry that my computer's moaning at me to close Minecraft again, which I'm not going to. Now, what was I saying? Originally, I made a sky base up here. And in episode 52 to 56, I started building in episode 56 and then in 58, we finished it. So at the end of episode 56, I came up with this idea for the series that whenever I get killed, and if I don't have anything in my inventory, I have to change my Minecraft skin. And I actually have to show it changing through video editing. When I first started this show, I had a Mario skin for season 1, then for season 2, to celebrate the year of Luigi, I changed it to a Luigi skin. I still use Luigi for the first few episodes of season 3 and then I reverted back to Mario. And I'm it. So then, what happened next was at the end of episode 6, 56, I jumped off the sky base without anything in my inventory and because of that I regenerated my, I, I, my Mario skin changed into this which is if you want to know who this is, here's a hint very popular TV show and then for season 4, after I got exiled to the uh, next world, they put a curse on me that this skin would change into another skin slowly over time. And that became Sonic, the Blue Hedgehog. And then for the next few seasons, every time we got sent to another map, my skin would change again. It changed to my Grand Theft Auto character, and then to Link, and then to Samus. And every time we returned, it would change back to Sonic over time again. Anyway, let's get rid of the sky block. 
which is like Sky Base 2.0, but we we'll call this an improvement. But eventually, after I complete all the maps, the skin changing curse that I had was lifted. And then I added Golden Apple and I changed change back to this. I'm not planning on going back to Mario anytime soon because I'm so attached to this body. Cut this wood down. Oh, the wood's falling down there. Ugh. Ouch. There's a free chest. Don't have a shovel. I have to make the most of it. So we're going to knock this down then we're going to continue on with the world tour. If I had a shovel, this would be so much faster. Finally, good demolished it. Now let's go on again. Just one more thing I need to show you. We're going to finish the tour back in my own world again. Okay. Some mob drops. Let's pick them all up. Here we go. So, oh wait. Item this body really needs to disappear. Because often I can be rushing to get my stuff back and it all disappears and it just makes me rage. Or in general, items should not despawn if you drop them or you're killed. I know it's going to be a bit tricky, but that should be what happens. So that if you're gonna get your stuff back you don't need to wait five minutes. So this over here is 
what was going to be my next base. I started this around episode 65. I plant all the plants here in episode 71. Let me show you. Why is there no door here? So we go all the way down. There might be some more stuff we can collect. So yeah, I carved all this here. Two diamonds! Wow. You know what? Why not? Let's just make a new diamond sword since I lost my old one. We'll enchant it later. Coal. Coal. You know what? I'm going to take all this iron with me. Anyway, let's continue on with the tour. Let me show you my very first world in this show. The Greenland world. It's not going to be much in this world. However, because it didn't, wasn't in that world for very long. Or in that world for about the first season. All these trees need to be replaced because they've all, they're all corrupted. So over here is my very first world. This was my subscriber farm that every time someone used to subscribe to me, I'd give him a sign and a flower. Most of the flowers have disappeared for some glitch or something. That this was supposed to be my first mob grinder, but that didn't work. This house here, this was the very first thing I built in my show. Originally, this floor was sand, now I replaced it with stone. For a very long time, this was this house was made of wood, but then I changed it to sandstone because you would think of sand when you're on the beach and not think of, you know, wood. This is really all that there is to show you in this world. Now, let's get back to my current one, and I'll show you. Never, which I was trapped in in the last episode. This down here was the base. Was what was supposed to be my never base. dirt in here. Some more iron. Is there something behind here? Oh no. I better put it back. Right, right let's just get out of here. And then we'll just check out my main world and then we'll call it an episode. Let's just get out of here. So here's the never room. Half that out in about episode 85, I believe. 
What used to be down here was the iron vault where it would store all the pieces of iron that's not smelted up yet. So... This is my pet, Trisha, which I got very recently. That is the arcade room, which I started constructing in episode 86. I built that mob grind in episode 84. Episode, um... 83 was probably when I made this bridge. And this fortress, I started building in episode, um... 77. Which I'll finish a few episodes later. And this... My house here, this was the very first thing I built in this world. This farm I made in episode 81. I put chests around the back in this very same episode, I believe. Because before then I had chests in the house where it would store my stuff, but it got full pretty quickly. I built this just after episode 75, the first episode in this world. I think we better make another furnace. So I can smelt all this up. No. Pick it up. Originally when I built this house, it was wood for a little while, but then in about three episodes later I changed it to stone, stone brick to reflect the fortress look. I built the fortress to keep monsters out. But I had to build another block layer out. Because spiders were climbing up and trying to kill me. Let me plant all the seeds back. Since it keeps getting trampled. Is there a hoe somewhere? No, just a stick. Let's just make a hoe. We plant all them, please. We might have to put Trisha in a pen soon if she keeps trampling these crops. So I have to keep replanting them. Okay, let's take the complete wheat and replant them. So yeah. See if there's any more wheat. No, doesn't look like it. This is Red Gamers 35 signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.